Today, I want to do a video about private label and the steps that are required and how crazy difficult and high risk it can be. And here's why. Welcome, welcome, Amazon business owners and soon to be Amazon business owners. This is Tim with Algo Online Retail. Today, I want to do a video about private label and the steps that are required and how crazy difficult and high risk it can be. And here's why. I did a training recently with a bunch of entrepreneurs who were looking to get started on Amazon, and they asked me a lot of questions about private label. So I'm actually going to do a case study here today on this video. I'll go live to Amazon and we'll research as if we were going to be launching a private label, we'll do the research that you would probably do if you wanted to analyze if it's right for you. But there are a lot of steps with private label. I call it a high risk business model for a reason. And so I'm gonna dive into some of that here today. So at Algo, if you've seen some of our videos here on YouTube, first of all, fantastic. Uh, subscribe, watch all you want, right? Um, and so here's what we cover. You've heard this before if you've watched our videos, the best way to get started and to scale and grow and build a truly successful Amazon business is to sell popular name brand products. I'm talking about name brands like Disney and Star Wars and Xbox and Keurig and Legos. And there's millions of popular name brand products already selling on Amazon. And guess what? There's millions of Amazon buyers every day that go to Amazon and what do they buy? These popular name brand products that we've all heard of before, right? So which one sounds easier to you? Selling a product that already exists, that's already on Amazon, that already gets thousands of sales every month, or starting your own brand. It's a little bit logic, logical, right? But the gurus say, hey, when you do your own brand, you'll have all the rights, you get to keep all the money, you have control, it's your brand. So I just want to go through and let's compare. So I'm going to go live to Amazon. But first, in order to sell a product on Amazon, as a new Amazon seller, and you might not be, be new, right? You might already be selling on Amazon, but you basically have two options when you want to sell on Amazon. Uh, option one is you could get your own brand. You could get your own brand, right? Option two is sell someone else's brand, a popular name brand product. So let me just give you the four basic steps to do a private label. Then I'll go live on Amazon and we'll do some research. So if you want to sell a private label on Amazon, here's what you have to do. Step one. And there's a lot more detail that I'm going to cover right now, but there's other videos we've talked more about this. Uh, step one, you have to get your product manufactured. So if you want to make a product, you got to get it manufactured, right? That probably involves going to another country. If you live in the U.S. or Canada, get your product manufactured. Step two, list it on Amazon. So you got to create the listing. So pictures, words, right? Descriptions, bullet points, and you put it on Amazon. Okay, step three marketing and getting sales. So you have to actually market that product because it's your brand. No one knows it exists yet, right? Popular name brand products, people know exist, but your brand, when you first launch it, no one knows it exists. So you got to do a lot of marketing. That's what I'm going to focus on a little bit more today and show you just how difficult that can be. And then number four, you got to get good reviews. So each one of these four steps, first of all, I just want to point something out. If you decide to sell a popular name brand product, guess what? All four of those steps have already been done and not by you, by someone else. That's all that matters. Most likely by the brand itself, but someone else has already done those steps. So uh, whatever product you want to pick, right? The product's been manufactured by the brand name, probably have been manufactured for the last 10, 20, 30 years, right? They put it on Amazon years ago. They created the listing. They've been marketing it for years. They get thousands of sales every single month and they got who knows how many reviews tens of 20s to 30,000 uh, good reviews, right? So these four steps are already done. So if you just kind of take a second and say, which one seems easier, uh, the product that's already done, or I have to do all those four steps. Um, all right, so let's go live on Amazon. And I'm going to focus more on that marketing step, the difficulty of launching that marketing. Now, but I do want to point something out. Could you mess up all four of these steps? Could you find a bad manufacturer that rips you off? Absolutely. Uh, listing. Now, I'm going to call that a pretty easy step to list your product on Amazon, but could you mess that up? Sure. Marketing, very difficult and very expensive. Takes a lot of time. We'll talk more about that one. And then reviews. 
if you get a bunch of bad reviews, Amazon's going to suspend your product. They're going to reach out to you and tell you, hey, you got to get some better reviews. It looks like your product is poor quality. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to share my screen. We'll go live to Amazon and I'm going to do a little research. And here's what I'm going to do. We're going to say that we want to do some research to decide if we want to sell <clears throat> some diapers, <laughs> disposable diapers. Now, I just wanted to pick a product that everyone kind of knows about. Everyone knows what a diaper is. Everyone knows the big brand names, Huggies, Pampers, et cetera, right? Okay, so here's what is happening. If you wanted to launch your own brand of diapers, meaning you get them manufactured, then you put them on Amazon, you start marketing them, and then you get good reviews. If you want to do those things, here's what you're competing against. Here's what's happening right now. So let me just kind of scroll through the page. So I did a search for disposable diapers. And the first one we see is this Honest brand. Honest brand. Now, have you heard of that brand? You may have or may not, uh, but the Honest uh, brand. Again, I've been uh, selling on the internet for 20 years, been involved with Amazon for 11, um, been heavily training others for about the last six years. I feel like I've done research on every single category on Amazon. So I've seen some of these products before, and I know the Honest brand uh, is a brand that was launched only a few years ago. It could be an example of, hey, look, Tim, it's, it's possible. You can launch your own brand. Well, guess who launched it? Jessica Alba, Jessica Alba, a very popular um, actress, right? I think she's a model as well and has her own makeup brand and stuff. So if you're famous and you have millions and millions of dollars to put into a product, that's not the normal human, right? You can't compare yourself to those people. Uh, George Clooney's launching some sort of coffee. Well, that's different. George Clooney just does a commercial and says, hey, buy my coffee. And he gets a bunch of sales, right? You get the idea. So this is owned by Jessica Alba. Uh, she started it at least. Uh, it's now a huge company. Okay, no surprises here. We got Pampers, Pampers, seventh generation. Now I got a little cheat sheet here to remind me of what all these companies are. A uh, seventh generation has been around for 32 years. So they're not new. They weren't just launched on Amazon. They've been around a long time, but they're one of the lesser tier uh, below Huggies and Pampers, right? So we got a Pampers, Pampers, Loves. We've all heard of Loves, right? Da -da, we got some Huggies. Okay, so this is what you get, right? This is what you're competing against, these big name brand products that are taking up the first page. Now, why are they showing up first? When you do a search on Amazon, some of you might be familiar with keywords and SEO and how all that works. Amazon's SEO is a little bit different. Amazon doesn't just show you what you searched for. They show you what they think you'll actually buy. So if there is a very good product um, that fits your keyword search, it might not show up if, if no one's buying it. So we're getting all the most popular diapers here. Here's one, Earth and Eden. All right, that could be an example of a, of a product uh, being launched. Well, guess who owns Earth and Eden? Eden, Amazon. Amazon launched that product. Obviously, they got enough money, they can go launch some products. So we're getting closer to down the first page, seventh generation. We got Pampers, we got Huggies. I uh, haven't really, I'm gonna, haven't seen any that are kind of brand new until I get to this one. Okay, so look what's happening here. This is the bottom of the first page, almost the bottom of the first page. Let's see, get to page one here. So all of these, all these brands, here's the end of the first page. Uh, but look, this one right here, here's the first one I saw that was kind of a, a brand name that no one's heard of, that's trying to launch themselves. Don't know how to say their name, Lucara, Lucara maybe. And they're sponsored. So what does sponsored mean? It's an ad, they're paying when I click, they're paying when I click. Now, how much are they paying? Uh, the average uh, ad <clears throat> on Amazon pays about 77 cents, uh, depending on which report you read. So they're paying uh, to be there. Why are they paying to be there? Because no one's heard of them. They can't, they can't get on the page organically. They can't get on the page naturally by it's a popular brand that just shows up. So they gotta pay to be there, right? Now, why didn't they pay to be on the top of the page. So let's just come back up to the top because the honest company is paying to be on the top. You'll see this says sponsored also, right? They're sponsored. They're hogging up the best spot. Why? Because they're a huge company, right? Again, started by people with millions of dollars uh, and now they're, now they're doing great. So we come down here and we got our Lucara. Lucara that is a, an, a sample. If you wanted to launch your own uh, diaper type product, Here's an idea of what's actually happening. Uh, so let me just show you a few of these products and how they're doing. So here's the Honest Company. 
Now, if you haven't ever looked up sales volume on Amazon before, uh, I'll just do this quick, but we have other videos that talk about the best sales volume estimator tools. Uh, but the one I'm going to just show you real quick is Jungle Scout. So here's what uh, I'm going to do. Jungle Scout will tell you the sales volume of a product. You just need to know it's BSR, <clears throat> best sellers rank. And so let's go back to our um, honest company diapers to find the BSR. You drag down the page a little ways. And here it is right here, 453 in the health and household category. So we want to find out, hey, how good is this honest company doing? How many diapers are they selling? Because that might give us an idea of how many we might be able to sell if we launch our own brand. So we come in here, we put in health and household, we hit estimate sales. <clears throat> <clears throat> Look at that, 23,000 sales a month. So that's about seven uh, to 800 a day. Uh, of this honest company diaper. So they are killing it, right? They're killing it. Uh, how much does this uh, cost? 26 bucks a pop. They're making a lot of money, right? Big company, have a lot of marketing dollars. They're making a lot of money. Okay, I mean, let's go to the next one. Now, Pampers is number one. If I come down the page, it's going to say number one in the baby category, right there. Number one in the baby category. So let's go back over to Jungle Scout. Let's change this to the baby category. Now, some of you might be thinking, why is that in the baby category? And the other one's in health and household. That's a, another video for another time. But go find our sales estimator tools and we'll talk more about that one. Okay. Woo, look at that. 85,000 units <laughs> um, a month, right? So we're talking almost uh, 3,000 a month, a, a day, right? 3,000 uh, boxes of Pampers a day. So obviously Pampers, huge brand name. Uh, they're dominating the market, right? Uh, let's go to another one. Here's this Earth and Eden one that we saw. And I'll save us a little time. I looked up some of these. Uh, Earth and Eden is 18,000, right? 18,000 is what they're selling. Again, Amazon launched that product. Uh, and I'm gonna tie all this together in a second. Seventh generation um, is selling about, look this one up, 8,550 a month. So this is who you'd be competing against. Uh, baby, I don't know how to say this one, Baby Gannix, Baby Gannix. Uh, all right, so here's another one. They're, they're only selling 1,800 a month. And guess who owns them? Johnson & Johnson. Again, these aren't just little companies you're competing against, right? They're, they're dominating the market. So what we just added up right there, we got over 100,000, about 120,000 uh, cases of diapers every single month by those brands. Then we get to our Lucara. Lucara um, diaper, we come down the page. And what is their BSR? Their BSR right over here, <clears throat> 50,256. So let's go over to Jungle Scout, type in 50,256. We hit the estimate button, zero. They're selling nothing. They're not getting any sales. So you might be saying, well, wait a second. They were running an ad. They're on the page. They're sponsored. So we could dive into a, <laughs> we could dive down the rabbit hole and talk about pay per click and how it works and how your conversion rate uh, and, and some of those things. But I'm not going to do that right now. But basically, here's what's happening. Um, <clears throat> on Amazon, you, you would hope for a, a great conversion rate, but in reality, you're going to be somewhere between, you know, one, seven percent. If you're a no name product that no one's ever heard of, it's going to be less, you know, on the lower end, right? And so, here's what happens. For every, every 100 people that click on this ad, you might get one or two or three or four or five sales, which sounds kind of okay, but when you do the math, you're paying more in the advertising than you're making in the money. And it looks like so far, no one's buying this product. So that's, that's reality. As I do this research right now, I can see there's already people, there's already companies out there that have tried to launch their own brand and compete against these big popular brands and they're getting no sales. By the way, let's come down to page number two in the diapers. So here's disposable diapers. Uh, we come down to page number two, bottom of page number two. And what do we have? A product called Nurture. Nurture, and it is sponsored. They're paying to be there. They wouldn't be showing up otherwise because they, they don't have the, uh, the history to show up on an Amazon organic search. And so they got to pay to be here. Well, they're selling, I looked this up, they're selling 30 a month. They're getting one sale a day. 
they've been trying for over 100 days. Uh, the first one, Lacara, same thing. They've been trying for over 100 days and they're just, they haven't got any sales, right? They're getting zero sales. So that's what we're competing against. By the way, I did an example of searching for disposable diapers. Is that what people search for? When someone wants to buy diapers on Amazon, what do they search for? They search for the brand. They go in here, they type in Huggies, and what do they find? A whole page of, of Huggies, right? And so what do you have to do? If you're one of these no-name brands, you have to, you gotta pay. You gotta pay to be on the page. I don't see any that are on the page. I did not see one single one that's on the page, right? None of them, they're all popular name brand products, and they're not on the page. Uh, the other ones aren't on the page. So if you want to do this right, uh, let me stop sharing my screen and just talk about this. If you want to do this right, these four steps, let me tie this together. These four steps, step number three is the marketing step. Now, I got started 20 years ago with my, with my own website. Uh, not long after that, I realized, hey, there's a lot to know about marketing a website. So when I first got started, um, keywords getting links on your website, some of those types of things. SEO was fairly brand new at the time. Uh, paid ads on Google were fairly bra uh, brand new. And so I realized there's a lot to learn. I actually went and worked for an SEO company for a number of years. And I'm gonna just tell you, learning how to market on the internet is not something you can learn by watching a five minute video or even a couple hours of videos. It is something that takes a long, long time. There's reasons that I have a bunch of friends <clears throat> that work at these big companies. They work at these companies, some of these names you would recognize, these big marketing companies, and companies hire them to market their products on Amazon. I'm talking companies, big brand name companies. I won't say any names right now, but big brand name companies, they will go to these companies and say, hey, launch our product on Amazon. We're not on Amazon yet, here, here we go. And their starting point, when it comes to marketing, their starting point for a good budget is $10,000 a month. They want $10,000 a month minimum to go spend marketing. So they can market your product on Amazon. They can go to social media and market it on Facebook and Instagram and Snapchat and all those places. It is a time intensive and money intensive process uh, to market your product on Amazon. So if you wanna launch your own brand on Amazon, this is one little thing that the gurus leave out. You got your four steps. Step number three, what's a decent marketing budget? You want to count on 50 to 100,000 minimum just to start getting regular sales, just to start getting regular sales, to get your name out there, to get people to start recognizing your name. So you want to count on losing 50 to $100,000 right off the bat. Um, unless you are already a marketing expert and you can do it all yourself, but you still got to pay for those ads. That's the danger of it. All right, now I'd like to teach you a lot more about the other way. Again, you got two options, sell popular name brand products or launch your own brand. Selling popular name brand products, I think is the right way to go. I'm gonna be holding a, a workshop, it's 90 minutes long. There's a little link right down there. I'd love to teach you how to do this, go through it step-by-step, step, how to sell popular name brand products. This is a time-tested, proven business model. It's been around in the brick and mortar world for years, right? This is, this is why we used to go to Sears and Kmart a long time ago. We'd walk in and what are we looking for? Popular name brand products. We've adapted that business model to Amazon. In my opinion, we perfected it. I'd like to teach you how to do that. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take 90 minutes of my life to be live. I wanna be live because I know you're gonna have some questions. So I'm gonna teach you a time-tested proven business model selling popular name brand products, how to do it the right way, then I'll do a question and answer period at the end. So it'll take about 90 minutes. Hopefully you have learned some things here today. What makes private label a high risk business model? Uh, some of the things that some of the gurus leave out. Lots of time needed and lots of money. Again, 50 to $100,000 that you are probably gonna spend before you start making money and six months of your life to get that product out there. So I'd like to teach you a better way, popular name brand products. If you'd like to learn how to do that, click on that link, get registered for the live webinar, and I'll see you soon.